Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2020 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. In today's episode, we will be reviewing the representative of Croatia in Miss Universe 2020. So the representative of Croatia for Miss Universe has been crowned and she is Mirna Naya Maric and she is 21 years old and she is a model at the same time. Honestly, I am not really feeling that much of a vibe with her yet. I have to emphasize yet because it feels like I wanted to see something more and better from her if the competition will happen this year. I hope she will be using her time to work on the things that needs to work on for the for the upcoming Miss Universe 2020 pageant. I have seen her performance on the national pageant and I, re I really apologize but I wasn't really a huge fan of it. I mean, her swimsuit performance was just on the average level to me. I would want to see her with a bit more of an energy, something that gives a striking aura that makes you wow right away. I would also love for her to work on the way her body moves when she walks because I don't know, but the, as I watch her walk in her swimsuit performance, it gives me that stiff vibes. I really wanted her to work on that body movement. Aside from that, there should also be a change when it comes to her hairstyle. I wasn't really a huge fan. She wore the same hairstyle during the swimsuit and the evening gown with that one part of her hair covering that side of her face. And I don't like, I'm not really into that hairstyle simply because I don't think it complements the beauty of her face and her face looked great I wouldn't argue with that and I wish she would have given us more smile on the performance so those are just my areas of opportunity that I wish she would work on specifically on the swimsuit competition for the evening gown not a fan of it as well it looked like It looked like someone has cut and ripped her gown before she came out on stage. It doesn't really look flattering at all. The fishnet feels on the neckline doesn't work either. And if ever she'll go to Miss Universe, which of course she will because she is the crown representative, I wish they will give her something better when it comes to the competition already. I have seen many photos of her and short video clips and I believe that she is beautiful. She actually got a lot of potentials to do much, much better. My comments is not to put her down. It's for her, that's why I'm giving it in a more constructive way because I wanted her to work on it. I wanted her to prepare herself for the in upcoming competition because it would be disappointing to see someone to see someone with potentials go into the competition and look like they are being swallowed alive by other contenders because they couldn't keep up with the competition and I don't want that. I wanted her to go into the competition having that real contender vibe and that's what I, what I wanted for her, her team and her organization to work on. And this is a Miss Universe. This is not just some minor pageant from, you know, this is a tough, tough competition. Interviews are tough. There's a lot of very smart ladies competing recently. Beautiful gowns, winning gowns, and out of this world, amazing performances. And if she really wanted to give Croatia another placement then she really need to work on that and Mirakman placed last year 
exclusive last year, yes. Me and Rahman plays last year, so I really hope she will be giving her some comments. She will be giving her some of her suggestions and what's happening with the pageant because I believe she would really help a lot when it comes to her transformation because Mia was a beautiful contender last year but she improved so much when she went to Miss Universe and I'm really hoping I, we would we would all see the same or or a bit higher level of improvement for her if she goes to Miss Universe and having said that Croatia is the first country in the European region that I reviewed. So for now, here's my current ranking for the European region. And obviously, Croatia will be number one for now, but it could change once we review other European contenders. And if you want to see the other reviews of mine for other countries, they are already available on my YouTube channel, so you can just go ahead and check them out. And what do you think about Croatia? I would love to know your thoughts about her. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.